Hi, I'm a stake indexing director, and today I'm going to show you how to record match when doing arbitration in family search indexing. First of all, you will need to have arbitration status, and um, if you don't, then this video won't be of any use to you. But if you are an arbitrator, then I'm going to show you how to do record matching, which will make your job easier and will also make the indexers happier as they will not be penalized unfairly for having entered um, names in a different order than the other indexer. So um, the project that I'm using as an example here is the US Idaho Obituaries 2007. Uh, if this project isn't available when you're doing arbitration, it doesn't matter. What I'm showing you here is valid for any project whatsoever. I just chose this one as an example because it is really important in this project to do record matching. We'll see why in a moment. Um, but basically because these documents that are being indexed here, they don't have a nice simple format. As you can see, I'm just clicking through each of the documents in this batch. They're, they have lots of names that are scattered all over, and it's really easy to skip a name or um, possibly enter them in a different order. So we need to do record matching first. Now, if you see down here in my record matching tab, basically I can't see any of the names. My screen is too small uh, to show all of the fields. So what I need to do is to hide all of those fields that are not relevant for this um, stage of arbitration. So I'm going to go to View, Record Matching Fields. And now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to hide all of the fields which are not names. I'm not deleting them, I'm just hiding them for this step. So you click on the field that you want to hide and then you click this right arrow here, remove. For some reason image type always just disappears rather than moving, but um, the other ones you see they just move over. And you can select several fields at once by clicking on the first one, then hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then click on the um, bottom one in the list of what you want to hide. So now I have all of these selected and I can just move them all over together. I'm going to do that again for the next bunch. And these. Okay, so all I'm left with now is the given names and surnames of the deceased and of any other names that are mentioned in the document. And then click OK. And what happens, you can see it down here already, uh, now I can see all of the names and I'm able to record match much easier. So let's go back to image one. Okay, and if I just scroll through this quickly, you can see right here, so the first, the first six names are good, and then key A has an Eva, and key B doesn't. There's a Paul, and there's Paul, and key A is number eight. So there's, something's been skipped there. You can scroll down and see what what's happened is that it's if you were to now go into arbitration, I'll just show you that. If you were now to go into arbitration without record matching, look what would happen. You you would have you're you're not matching up the same individuals. So Eva with Paul and then in the next one there's Paul and Brent. So you want to make sure that Paul is matched with Paul and Brent is matched with Brent. There he is in Kie. Um, so basically we're going to need to add a record in key B for this EVA. And this is why record matching is so important because otherwise you would be penalizing key B for all of these entries which they possibly have correct but just because they skipped one. Okay. First of all we're going to make sure that they really did skip one. So we're going to have to look at the document. Um, for this project all of the names need to be entered in the order in which they appeared on the document. So we'll just go through and check. There's the first one, Don Gordon. I'm just skimming through. Next one, John Gordon, Windley, Hilda Thornock. Okay, and I'm scrolling um, using the bottom of my window here as kind of a ruler. Okay, next one, Beth Shepard. just skimming the document looking for those names. Okay, here's the next one, Gerald, sisters, Myla, and I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing these names. Um, and Eva, so there's Eva 
key A is correct, Eva is next. So what do we need to do? We need to click here, no matching records, because there's no match for Eva. And what does that do? That opens up a slot for us in key B, and look at that, the rest of the names look like they've lined up, which is great. But I'm going to go through and check that really all of the names are here in both key A and key B. Because if we've missed one, if we find out later that we've missed a name, that, that both indexers missed a name, um, we're going to have to go back in and add it anyway. So we'll just quickly go through. Next is Paul. Brent. Jill. Ray and Fred. Jolene and Michael. Bala. Marilyn and Doug Alley. Okay, and that's all. So that one's good. Go on. It's asking us do we want to save it? Yes, we do. Go on to image two. Right, same thing. We have here um, right away from the beginning. There's there's a mismatch here, so we're gonna have to see what went wrong here. Check the first one. It's okay. Next, the next one is John Lishman Mander. Oh, sorry, no. The next one is John Woodbury. So key A, key A is correct here. And that's not listed here in key B, so we're going to go no matching record. Okay. Then we get John Lishman, Eva May. Milo Joseph, Milo John, Carol Lynn, Robert Dennis, David Jan, Julia Ann, Cynthia May, Ron. Okay, and you notice that some of the names you can see here there's a discrepancy in the actual name, or here in number 11 there's a discrepancy in the spelling. I'm not correcting those now, that's going to be the next step, of course, when you go to the arbitration tab. So what we're just talking about here is record matching, so that you end up actually matching, um, actually working with and comparing same individuals. Okay, so going on. I'm just skimming again. Here we go. Here's Irene, Elizabeth, Timothy. Robert and Ruth, Rosie, Lynn and Sachiko, and that should be all. Okay, that's all um, for this image. Now, one other thing which um, we didn't have an example of, but which I want to show you how to do is sometimes if Let's say that one of the indexers had, had entered the names in the wrong order or in a different order. So say key A has Lin and then Sachiko and key B has Sachiko and then Lin. So how can you fix that? You do that by using these arrows here. So you'd want to move Sachiko down one or Lin up one so that you line them up again. So I'll just move Sachiko down. There. And now they're matched up again. So that's what you would do if um, one of the indexers had entered them in a different order. Yes. Okay, and then check this one quickly. Okay, so I'm not going to go through right now with you and check all the names because they're probably correct and um, it's just the principle of the thing. So you've seen how to do it now. Um, once I had checked that I have all the names on here that I need for this image, then I can go into the arbitration tab and start the actual arbitration. Okay, so that's it. Record matching, really, really important. Please be sure always to record match before you begin your arbitration. That's it. Have fun.